Hi, my name is Ikeno Ofo for CNC Labs, and today we are going to do an unboxing and an installation of the magnetic laser beam mount. So, a little backstory. About a year ago, I had so many tickets asking for this product from our laser beam users. So I took a few weeks to design up pretty much the base design of this. And then last winter, we had a co-op student, Abeku, who took the design from about 40% and then took it all the way to about 85%. And then over the past few months, I've spent a little bit of time getting it to the point where we are ready to release it. So I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of an unboxing. It's a super simple product. First, you have your standard M512 socket head cap screws. And then you have the magnetic mount itself, which looks like this. Super simple installation. All you're gonna need is these two bolts, hex drive for your M5 socket head cap screws. We're going to align the head with these counterboard screw holes right here. And then we're gonna take that, align it to the mounts on your router mount, on your long mill or your alt mill, because this is actually dual compatible with both. And if you have one of the older router mounts, your, your mounts might be on the side here or on the side here. But for now, we have ours on the front. So I'm just going to start tightening that. Not too tight yet. Just gonna make sure I can get the second one in. And now I'm just gonna tighten that. Now don't over tighten, but we wanna make sure we're nice and secure. Wanna make sure that the plate is nice and flat against the router mount. Make sure we got that all the way. Give this a tug and we got no movement there. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Now you can mount any version of the laser beam mount, whether you have the version one wide ones or these version two slimmer ones, or when you're using the vortex riser mount with your regular mounts. And all you do is you align your holes to these little studs and the magnets take over and snap it in place. For extra bit of security, you can kind of make sure that you drag like your your laser down a bit until your studs are touching the top of your mount holes. That's just giving it a, a little extra security, a little extra rigidity there. And that's pretty much it. You can plug in your wires, you can leave your wires running through your drag chain, but when you're using your router, your spindle, anything other than laser, you can now unplug it and all you're gonna do is kind of tilt it and then the back half of the router mount is gonna come off and then you just pull and it's that easy. So I'll do it again. We designed the magnetic mount to be cross compatible with all versions of the laser beam mount. You have your, whether you have your version one wide mount, whether you have the version two slim mount, or whether you're using the vortex mount with your laser beam. And all you have to do again is align these two holes with the studs and the magnets take over. Now you can drag it down for a little bit of extra security so the studs are reaching the top of the mount holes. You could plug in your wires ready to go. You do your laser job. And when you're done, all you do is tilt from the bottom and pull. It's that easy. One note that we have is that in order to get the best results, you do wanna run your laser up to only about 5,000 to 5,500 millimeters per minute, which is about 66 to 67 millimeters per second. This will give you the best results. At a certain point, the laser does have a lot of flex when you're moving faster than that. And that's with the regular mount, bolting it right to your router mount or with the magnetic mount. So faster than that, obviously with the SLB, you're, you can go slightly faster than that. And with the uh, alt mill, you can go a lot faster than that. But for the best repeatable, you know, safe results, you wanna go around 5,000 to 5,500 millimeters per second, and that will ensure the best, most repeatable results. Of course, you can experiment with faster speeds, but just don't, you know, you're gonna be playing around with, you might mess around with some lines, there's a little fuzziness here and there, or you might figure out a way to make it secure. We might have firmware updates uh, later down the line that help you increase that speed in which the magnetic mount works. Most people won't need to run jobs that fast. If you're using the laser beam right now, I'm sure with engraving, or cutting, you have no issues with the speed at the moment, but I'm just giving you guys a heads up to keep it there. Now we have the resources up, the shop page is going live, and yeah, so I hope all you laser beam users enjoy this, and uh, yeah, that's it for me, and I will see you guys next time.